Welcome to a walkthrough on uh, how to get uh, the 200 VTX uh, after signing up for the whitelist of uh, VTX. After visiting volendix.io, you can click on this link, which will redirect you to the page that has the 2K UIC gateways in order to enable you to get uh, the VTX. Uh, let's see how to do the process using the Blocktopus gateway. We have to fill up this form. You have to add your mail, uh, your name and the surname and to select the cryptocurrency to, that you are willing to exchange for VTX. After you submit the form, you will receive the email with uh, the instructions that you have to follow. So I received the email uh, from Volentix about subscribing, about uh, registering uh, for the Blocktopus KYC. If I follow the link, I will be redirected to the uh, page that I have to sign up for. So let's go ahead and uh, sign up for the KYC. Now that I have successfully signed up, I will receive a confirmation uh, email in order to verify that the email, my email address is valid. Confirmation instructions. If I simply click on the confirm my account, I will be redirected to the page that I have to sign in in order to submit my KYC application. Once I log in, uh, I can see my KYC panel, and this is where I can I will uh, fill out my, the information about my KYC. Uh, in the first field, I will select uh, the cryptocurrency that I'm willing to exchange for BTX. In my case, it's BTC. I will fill out the amount of BTC that I'm willing to exchange for the BTX. I will fill out my first name. I don't have a middle name. My last name. My date of birth. Uh, here I have to provide uh, uh, a government issued ID. This can be, uh, for example, a passport or a driving license. In my case, it will be a passport. So here is my passport. Um, the next field is uh, for uh, IDs that have also a backside, like for example, a driving license. In this case, you need to also provide uh, a scan or a photo of this license. Uh, the proof of ID field is uh, a picture, actually a selfie of myself holding uh, the ID that I provided above. Here I will fill out uh, the, ID, the ID number of the identification document that I have provided. I will select my nationality and then I have to upload the proof of address. The proof of address is like any utility bill like uh, gas, electricity, water uh, that you have received uh, in your home address over the last year. In my case, it's uh, an electricity bill, and here I have to provide uh, uh, my home address information, like the one that uh, the utility bill, uh, the utility bill uh, shows. Now I'm ready to submit uh, my KYC information for the review. Uh, you need to wait in order for the documents to be uploaded. Um, so as soon as this uh, loading page goes away, this will mean that uh, my KYC information has been successfully submitted. And then you will need to wait for a while in order for a reviewer to pick up your uh, application and review it. Um, if the information that you provided uh, is uh, according to the pictures that you uploaded, then everything will be fine and the reviewer will uh, straight, uh, straight uh, appro approve you. Uh, if there is like a type or like uh, something that uh, doesn't agree with the pictures that you uploaded, then uh, the reviewer will have to decline your application and then you will have uh, to upload a new revision of your KYC application with, uh, the, by following the feedback actually of the reviewer. 
Uh, once your KYC is complete, then uh, you are eligible for the whitelist, and you will. But you will have to wait in order to be actually selected for the whitelist process. This can take several days, so please be patient uh, for the whitelist selection. As you can see, my KYC information uh, has been received by Blocktopus, and uh, now the reviewer will uh, uh, review my application. Actually, reviewer reviewed my KYC application, everything was correct, and uh, I received this email that my KYC application has been approved. Uh, like uh, I said earlier, you need to wait for the whitelist review, and this can take several days, so please be a bit patient. Thank you.